TV show and create it, launch it, profit. What a great day. Today's been a much better day than yesterday. <laughs> you don't even want to know, but today is good. Um, I'm so happy to be back with you. I've been on the road again. And I know I say that probably every time when you don't uh, hear from me for a while. Just, um, just you could probably just guess. I'm, I'm on the road. I was in New Mexico. Great people in New Mexico. Great town. If you've not been to Albuquerque, uh, the um, it just felt good there. And uh, the uh, sunset and the sunrise was awesome. And they got colors uh, right now changing in uh, the trees and things like that. It was so beautiful. Um, went down there. Uh, I was there to testify in a court case uh, uh, as a consultant and um, uh, was there all day in court. And, um, you know, I have a contract that, you know, while I'm there it, it, traveling and there, I, I, I'm get, I get paid my uh, my my wage. Um, never got on the stand. I got to go back. <laughs> So, hey, fine with me. So that was good. Uh, I mean, I, I would rather uh, just get it done and move on to the next one. But um, I got to go back to New Mexico. So uh, I had sushi there. It was so good. I know. I like to eat sushi in just about every town. And uh, and sometimes I'm shocked to find out what what um, how good restaurants are in, in these land kind of landlocked areas. Yeah, New Mexico is landlocked, right? It's not on any. There's not any coast there. It's on, not on the. Uh, the, 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 the Gulf of Mexico or anything like that, right? You know, there's so many times I, I traveled to Washington and where was I in Washington? Yakima, Washington. I had no idea where that was. I had no idea where in Washington it was. I didn't know if I was on the East coast uh, or East coast, the, the East, um, Eastern border of Washington or the North or the South or the way I had no idea where I was. Uh, I had asked them where I was. I know it, with the internet, you think it'd be easy for me just to click and see where I'm at, but I, I should not be telling you this stuff. You're thinking, what a, what a moron. Uh, and what, what I'm going to be talking about is uh, about this thing. Uh, and I don't know if Kajabi made it up or what, but uh, I really like it because uh, people often ask what I'm doing now uh, in addition to uh, the dog training business. I say, so what is it that you, what is this other stuff you're doing? I don't understand. You're writing books, you're speaking, you're doing all this thing on social media, but what is it? What is it that it's called? And uh, essentially what I try to do is have everybody go through my my Kajabi site where I have information and videos and that kind of stuff and the number of people do. But in relationship to that, I have, um, uh, you know, at times where I meet with people and, and teach them how to, how to um, you know, go from zero to hero. I, um, uh, um, one of my students at one of my programs, excuse me, Asked me about 22 Social. We went through a, a possible 22 Social campaign with him. Uh, another uh, member of the Mastermind Group wanted to know about putting together a Kajabi site. And so what is all that? And uh, Kajabi uh, came uh, back a few weeks ago with a, a video talking about this uh, this new industry and one that they are labeling. And I think they came up with a name. I'm not sure. Or it's just one that's uh, just beginning the branding process. And that is called Knowledge Commerce that I'm in the knowledge commerce business, that uh, my job right now is to teach people what it is that I know and uh, what it is that I've learned from using certain tools and what I've learned from other people and passing it on, what I've learned from the mistakes I've made, what I've learned from my successes, uh, what I have learned in relationship to uh, what works in, 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 in what attracts customers in graphics and video and that kind of stuff. And it all comes down to one thing. And I really like it that I can bring it down to one thing. And that is something called knowledge commerce. I'm in the knowledge commerce business. It's the practice of charging customers for access to your knowledge. This could be uh, through an online course, an ebook, which I have uh, those, right? A membership site, I have that. Or other digital product designed to share knowledge. What you're watching now at Facebook Live, all of it. It's great. I could put all of it under one heading. I've always struggled. I, I write books. I, I, I talk to people about writing their own book and then using the book and uh, as a lead magnet and then how to get on stage because of the number one bestselling book. And I, I, I struggle. Like I do all this stuff and I've not been able to use one thing. And that one thing now is the is knowledge commerce. I'm in the knowledge commerce business. And now when they say, well, what is that? Well, I teach people how to use their book. I teach people how to write a book. I teach people how to do Facebook Live and create their own TV show. I teach people all these things. And, and it's all under the heading of knowledge 
commerce. And uh, many of you who may be watching uh, either live or the replay are also in the knowledge commerce. I know uh, some of you, uh, if you would comment, let me know you're watching and where you're watching from. That would be great. I would really appreciate that. I see the numbers, which is really funny. Yeah, I saw, uh, I just got off another Facebook live and it's so funny. The entire time it's saying two to five people are watching. I stopped and I had a hundred and uh, over a hundred and I forget what it was, 120 views or something like that. So there were 120 people watching uh, the last Facebook live yet. In the little green space up here, it says two. All right, so I'm always interested. So please put your uh, your comment in there. Please let me know where you're watching from. And let me know if you are in the knowledge, uh, knowledge commerce business that you have either uh, or all. Um, hey, John North. Yeah, you definitely are in the knowledge commerce business. Uh, this could be uh, through, uh, uh, like I said, online courses. It could be an ebook, membership site, or other digital product. It, it, and it could be all of those things. It could be more than one of those things and all of them. All right. Uh, the reason it's important to understand that this is really the place you need to be, you need to be in the knowledge commerce business. If you have knowledge on something, no matter what it is, it doesn't have to be digital. It doesn't have to be, I mean, digital, uh, about digital platforms. It, it can be in horseback riding. It can be in dog training. I have a huge business in, uh, in, in uh, the dog business and much of it is in the knowledge commerce side of things, right? In the digital side of things. And, um, and so it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what it is that you do there. You need to understand <clears throat> that as some aspect of your business should be in the knowledge commerce area. Uh, why? Because uh, they uh, they say that, um, oh, you know what I should be doing? I was supposed to put this up, so there's that. <laughs> Sorry. There's that uh, about knowledge commerce, so you can see it and remember it, right? And then now uh, it is a 200 or going to be a 243 billion industry by all um, uh, uh, imaginations and thoughts and, and, and reports of what people are going. Um, uh, and what they say is, uh, of course, um, uh, of the 243 billion in the industry, I, I think they said by 2020, I, I can't remember the exact thing. I should have wrote down the entire thing, but I didn't, uh, that just look at it as 243 entrepreneurs could build a million dollar business. Right. Uh, and so that's pretty powerful. And if we're early, we can be one of those 240 people. Uh, there's already probably a hundred people doing it. Uh, why, if not more, uh, but, and so we can surely be one of those people, uh, with a million dollar business. So it's a 24, 243 billion dollar industry. That is the projected, uh, um, uh, income coming in from this industry. Um, uh, by 2020, uh, they say 900 million women will be entering the workforce in new ways. All right. Uh, uh that is a lot of women. <laughs> 200. Well, there's hope for me because I'm single right now. So 900 million women, uh, will be entering the workforce, uh, in new ways by 2020. 900 million women. What business do you, what, what audience do you think you need to get your, information your knowledge commerce in front of maybe women uh it, there's a good chance that you could find a niche there uh, understanding that 900 million people by 2020 which is not long uh, it's almost 2018 right uh so over the next two years you can you can build a huge business just marketing to what women need to know as they get into um uh the entrepreneurial uh you know, area of, 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 uh, of being in business. And, uh, and surely somebody like John North has the knowledge that these women need as they're entering entrepreneurship. And if you do it right and you market to them correctly to where they are attracted to, and you are an attracted, um, attractive uh, character for them, they will need what it is that you know right? Everyone needs to know something and it's probably something you have in that, that noggin of yours. And so uh, it, it's going to be a $243 billion industry. 900 million women are going to be entering this area within uh, the next couple of years. Really important for you to know that. Um, three to 5 billion consumers, the consumer on the consumer side of things, uh, between three to 5 billion consumers will enter the market in the coming years, creating even more income potential for entrepreneurs who harness the power of knowledge commerce. So just your, just, just strictly. Yes. Put a link, uh, put a link of your book in here. Of course, John North, are you kidding me? Uh, th uh that's an important book, especially related to what it is we're talking about, but three to five, three, uh, and five, three and five billion consumers. Oh my God, that's a lot. So 
uh, aside from the entrepreneurs, just that there's, there's again, people that need their dogs trained. Where would they go? Internet, digital. They need to see it. They need to watch uh, videos on it. They need to know what things they need to buy, what kind of food, right? What kind of uh, leashes and collars? What are, and so because they're busy, they don't have time to 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 go to somebody. They just want to watch their, on their phone as they're waiting for their doctor appointment, and they go, "Oh, this guy knows about stuff. What's he saying about what kind of collar my dog should have?" And I have videos that are just like that, right? Uh, chiropractic. What is it you're going to tell people about how they take care of their back after they leave your office? That is another digital another way to use digital information that you you enhance whatever it is you're teaching, right? Up to uh, up to a couple years ago, it was just that you went and got cracked, and he would explain to you what it is you need to do for your exercises and then you would leave and you would be trying to remember what they are but now you can add um, value to what it is you do in the office by saying once you get home go to our Facebook page on the left hand side you can look for files in files you'll see all the exercises uh, that we just talked about and you'll see them on video and, and and either myself or somebody else will be describing them and showing you exactly how you need to do it thank you John for putting your your book on here let me get rid of this. And so uh, John North put his book on there. Click on it. Evolpreneur uh, is a free book. Click on that and, and definitely uh, get that book um, because it'll be very valuable as to the different stages of entrepreneurship. Really, really important, especially those women that are getting in and, and need to understand that the, the, each phase that you're in, it's the knowledge of knowing what phase you're in is going to help you under, uh, help you focus on that phase, get that done, and, and then move on to the next phase. And I think that the, what John has done is, is fantastic, among uh, uh, all the other things that he does. All right, 40% of workers will be non-traditional employees by the year 220 or 220, 2020. 40% of workers, 40%. 40% of the workers will be non-traditional employees. In other words, they're not going into an, a cubicle, right? They're, they're non-traditional employees. Wow, that is huge. <laughs> that is huge. Uh, and so again, they're gonna need uh, to know stuff. They're gonna need to know how to uh, build um, a business around, or not a business, how to build an office that is non-traditional, how to do things, how to how to uh, use um, Zoom, how to use blue jeans, how to use, uh, you know, go to meeting, whatever it is, or what's the best thing to use now. Uh, and so not only the, 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 uh, the employee, but the, the boss will need to know, how do I communicate with all my non-traditional employees who aren't going to work on a day-to-day -day basis that I can see? How do we do that? How do we manage that? Do you have knowledge on how to do that? There's a business for you. Uh, John North has put another thing up here, which is great. Uh, also paperback in stock, uh, just arrived. Fantastic. Click on that free book. Uh, you just got to pay for shipping is what I'm gathering from that one. <laughs> All right. Uh, um, so there are three trends that are powering the industry right now. Three trends that are powering. And this, these are the things you need to know. All right. Three trends that are powering the industry of the knowledge. What do I call it? Knowledge commerce. I'm going to have to remember that. Knowledge commerce. So th Three things, and this is all coming from Kajabi. Kajabi put this uh, report out in the video, and I'm taking some of the, the highlights from it. Hey, Charmaine, uh, glad to see you. Uh, one of my one of my fantastic friends here on the intranet. Who says intranet? I think it's Andy Jenkins. He says he likes to say intranet. I think it's him. Uh, hey, Charmaine, uh, thank you for joining us. I really appreciate it. Um, if you have anything to offer our um, our friends here about um, anything that we're talking about, feel free to put it in the comment section. Um, and so uh, three trends that are uh, powering the industry right now that you need to be aware of. Uh, and one of those things is uh, what we all know, especially Charmaine and John, know that digital is the new norm. Digital is the new norm. Um, uh, we are getting away from the television sets, uh, the uh, millennials, the X generate Gen X. What else is there? I forget what they all are. Uh, even the boomers are getting away from their televisions and they're going to their phones and their computers and their uh, iPads and their devices and what have you, their smartphones. And this is the new world. And it's going to it's going to be there's people that need to learn how to use them, how to use them for the business. They need to understand how to market. Uh, to the the people in the digital world, how does this get done? There's many many uh, people in their 40s, 50s, and 60s who are still running a business the old-fashioned way. They're still you know in the yellow page uh, uh, you know way of doing things, the uh, billboard way of doing things, uh, and they're thinking, wow, how do I reach these people? I don't know. You know, I don't even have a Facebook account. I don't even. How do I do this? How do I know? I don't know. Uh, digital is a new norm. And they need to understand that. And so that may be your audience that you're going to. Many of the people that I have in my in our mastermind group are of that age that are that are doing well. Uh, 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 gosh, my 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 brain just took a short. Uh, Sue Ferreira, um, a uh, retired um, 
a doctor uh, who uh, is reaching many people in her age group. And I don't want to say age group because I don't, don't want to get it wrong. I don't want to be high and I don't want to be too low. Uh, but in her age group, which is uh, uh, slightly older than me, I guess. And uh, she is she's killing it with that audience in showing them what it is they need to know about the new digital age. Uh, they, you know, As they retire, now they're looking for something to do. And what do I do? I need to understand this digital stuff, this digital crap, and how do I do it? The next thing, number two thing that's uh, that's um, uh, powering the industry is uh, customers now control the relationship. Customers now uh, control, and I didn't think about that until I read this uh, on this particular blog, uh, and that, um, and they're right. The customers are now controlling relationship. And this is why I love the connection with these people in the comments and with Charmaine and John and the other people that are watching that have not said anything yet is that we need to have this connection. We need to have this dialogue and they, they decide what it is that I'm going to talk about. They, in many ways, I was just on the Falco Canine Academy uh, Facebook page doing a Facebook live and I was responding on that Facebook live to a question that one of my consumers one of my customers had to make sure that what I was giving them was um, what they wanted, right? Uh, I, and the previous Facebook Live I did was the same thing. It was, I was responding to a question that, come my, that my customer wanted. So they were controlling what it is that I was talking about. They're controlling um, my re the relationship that I have with them and I'm, and I'm, and I'm, and I'm listening to them. And now I have a better opportunity to, to even guess what it is they want because they're controlling it. They're controlling the talk. They're controlling what it is that I'm giving you. They're controlling the products. I think Apple right now is struggling a little bit. Uh, and what I'm hearing is they're struggling a bit on meeting what it is that their customers want. And it's not quite the same um, uh, as when, um, you know, somebody else was running it. <laughs> and so um, that's one of the things you have to understand. Did your training video about using PowerPoint on Mimo Live disappear from the universe? I didn't see it in my library. Hmm. I don't know. I will have to let you know. See, here's Charmaine asking me a question. She's controlling. She's one of my customers also. And uh, here she's asking me a question. And so I'm going to have to find out what it is. Cons cons uh, customers. I mean, I want to say consumers control the relationship. Um, I uh, Good question. I don't know why it's not there. Huh. I'll find it, Charmaine, and I will uh, try to make sure and get it up and running and let you know about that. You know what's funny is that your thing is still showing, but it's, um, there it goes. It wouldn't go away because it was uh, the opposite color. All right, so number three uh, thing controlling the industry, and that is the need for knowledge is greater than ever. The need for knowledge is greater for, and that is no kidding. Things changing so rapidly. You, you can be in the know one day and be in the not know the next day. Uh, so you gotta understand that you gotta constantly be learning and knowledge is king. People, you just need to know something an hour before some, somebody else. Literally, you have to know it a minute before them, but it'll take you an hour to set up the be live and to uh, get things set up so that you can tell somebody about it, right? So you just need to know about something an hour before somebody else and you have the knowledge to give to them. Uh, and it's important just to stay up on top of things and let them know what's happening. I'm watching every so often, sometimes I'm delayed. So I, I'm watching other Facebook lives that people are doing and they're sharing something that they learned that happened last night. And then I'm taking what they talked about and I'm using it in some cases to speak about it on the Facebook lives. And so I'm taking information, I'm regurgitating. The information that I'm giving you now is regurgitated from Kajabi. I'm giving them credit for what it is that we're talking about today. Uh, the next bit is not, but uh, everything I've given you so far are stats that they've given and uh, and, and researched and found. And I like the name of, uh, of what it is that I'm gonna be calling my business and that's knowledge commerce. I'm in the knowledge commerce business. And so there you go. All right, so knowledge is greater than ever. So I wanna tell you about some tools that I'm currently using. Oh, wow, what happened? Oh, no, it's all, it's correct. <laughs> all right, so there are three tools that I'm using. As many of you, oh, so sorry about that, I double clicked it. As many of you know, if you've been around any of the broadcast, that, um, <clears throat> oh, I did not know that. I'll, I'll get back to that. Um, uh, and that uh, I've been dumping many of the things that I've been paying for, many of the services. I'm really deciding what it is I really need and what it is I'm keeping. And so what I wanna do, is, uh, actually there's four tools, gosh darn it. It's actually four. I forgot I changed it. There's four tools that I'm using. Four. Make ignore that three. 
It's four, uh, four tools that I'm using right now that I'm committed to because I think right now they're the best for what it is that I do. Uh, I think they're, they're the best in many ways and things that you can do. Um, and I'm, and I'm more than happy to, and I will, I'll be talking about that. I know people want to know more about 22 social. I'll be doing more of that and create a, a launch at profit, uh, and, and sharing some of the things I'm doing there. I got, and I'll be sure I'll be showing that in just a moment, what it is we're doing. So there are four tools I'm using currently. Sorry about that. I should have fixed that. Um, and so uh, the first one, as you probably are guessing, uh, is Kajabi. Kajabi right now is so powerful. Um, and I cannot uh, say, uh, can't speak highly enough about it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and share it on my screen here. Uh, and this is uh, the inside of Kajabi. Uh, you can create a website within Kajabi. Um, um, and, that, and you have, um, uh, I'm going to click on a couple things email templates. I don't know. I don't think anything of significance will pop up here. So these are all the different membership, welcome email, offer, purchase confirmation, affiliate user. So it has these templates, site uh, email templates that you just click on and you edit. It's <laughs> so great. They, they um, uh, make it so easy for you. I'm not sure if you're going to even be able to see here. I'm going to click on this one thing here and see if you can see what this template looks like sometimes. Yeah. So it's just giving you, so all you need to do is fill in these blanks and it'll fill it all in for you. And it's a template that's so easy to use. You have to do very little. Um, you can uh, create a blog uh, on this website. And there's my blogs. Let me see if it'll actually show you what that blog looks like. Hold on. And I can preview it. Rest in peace, Bruno. This is about my uh, detection dog that I took. And so here's what the blog looks like. And it's all uh, created in a template. Um, and that is my story of my working with Bruno. I love that dog. Just passed away uh, this year. Uh, so... You do that, and I'm just scratching the surface. Hang on. Uh, all right, so there's the website. You got email marketing, and all your email marketing campaigns and things are kept in here, and you create your broadcast within Kajabi. All right, you um, have pipelines. Pipelines is equivalent, and I'm going to use this word because I'm, I'm not quite using it right now, but it's, uh, um, uh, you know, click funnels. Uh, uh, it is very similar to ClickFunnels and it's uh, pipelines and it is uh, a way campaign of sending people down the purchase, the purchasing process from getting in from something for free to purchasing a low level uh, um, uh, product to then uh, selling them a higher end product and, and so on. And and I really like pipelines. I do love ClickFunnels, I got to say, uh, but you have to make a choice, right? If you're if you're paying uh, twice, let me come back to my thing here. If you're paying uh, for two things and yet they basically do the same thing. Uh, I'm choosing to do the one that's built into the to the platform where my projects are already living, right? And so it just makes sense for me to use uh, uh, pipelines in Kajabi um, because uh, of, I, I love ClickFunnels, but my my products aren't living in ClickFunnels. Uh, so Charmaine has a few things, and, and this is just so we can make sure and be on the same page. Uh, number one, did you know that you can now animate images uh, to create in Canva? Yes, I heard that too. Uh, I'm going to be talking about another platform right now, but uh, that is, uh, it, yeah, that is really important. I still use it. I love Canva, uh, and but it's not one of my primary tools, so it's not it's not on my current four item list. Uh, she's not happy with uh, something Kajabi's doing. I also like and use Kajabi. I'm disappointed in their email templates. No option to add images. There will be. Uh, I'm not sure if you're a founder, Charmaine. Um, or use my link to sign up if you didn't. Shame on you. Uh, <laughs> but um, I know that uh, they've talked about it to us founders. And I'm not sure if, if you're a founder. And I, uh, I I can't remember where I heard it. I don't know if it was in a founder announcement or somebody just simply told me that is in the know with Kajabi. I'm, I'm now not remembering exactly where I heard it from. But that is something that is in in the works from what I remember uh, in talking with somebody. But yes, that, that is a discipline that you can't put a template in there. Or I uh, can't put a, an image in, in there, but just know, just know there is a lot happening. Um, and, uh, oh, you didn't use the link. Okay, good. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so yeah, she's, I just messed with her. All right. So, um, yeah, so you got pop lines, you got landing pages, check out some of these landing pages. I'm going to click, uh, on a, a template here just so you can see what's inside here. I got a bunch of landing pages there, as you can see, um, they give you conversion rates and that kind of stuff. But they're, they're beautiful templates. And again, there's people even building them outside of Kajabi that you can purchase. But uh, I think that if, you know, for anybody, these are professional, uh, great looking uh, templates that you can easily um, make your own. And uh, there's enough uh, 
things you can do to edit it and change some of the the aspects so that it 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 this looks like you right and there's enough templates that you're going to find something that works for you uh managing people i'm not sure which site i'm on i have multiple sites so these are all the people in my this is dog training so you can manage your people um and see what they're doing i heard today and i because i missed the email earlier you can do i'll get uh, got a bunch of people signing up in november how cool is that Huh. All right. So this month is already going well. Um, all right. So if I go to this person here, um, you it looks different. And so you can send them a, a password. Oh, that's cool. How cool is that? People just got, oh, that was the, uh, so there's more things you can do. You can hide them, grant them offers, edit details. There's a place for notes. So if they call in and, and do something and complain, you can write it in there from what I remember seeing. So there's some really cool stuff you can do there. All right. I mean, I hope I didn't mess them up by getting in there. Do I want to save? No, I don't think I want to save. All right. <laughs> uh, you got your reports. Uh, and so there's all kinds of different reports that you can get. Uh, sales by day, sales by week, sales by month, sales by offer, uh, commissions by affiliate, affiliate purchases, opt-ins by day, opt-ins by week, opt-ins by month. You got your integrations, all the different things you can do with integrations. Uh, you got PayPal now, which is fantastic. They just added that Stripe, Aweber, MailChimp, Drip, ConvertKit, um, Active Campaign, Segment, Google Analytics, Facebook Pixel, uh, Zapier, and there's my ClickFunnels uh, API that's in there. Um, you um, go to your store where you have your products. All your products are listed here, and there's great ways of managing them. And I don't want to go into all that kind of stuff. But anyway, Kajabi has it all. I I just love it. All right, so Kajabi. Uh, if you need the link for Kajabi, the one that I was uh, talking to um, Charmaine about, here it is. Uh, and please use this. I it is affiliate, and I do get uh, compensated for using it, so that would be great. Uh, but it's in the it's in the chat, uh, and you can. I think that's a thirty day free. So if you haven't been in it yet, and you want to see what it's like on the inside, uh, click on that link, go in there, and opt in for the free version. Oh, I was just. <laughs> I was showing you all the stuff and yet there's no way you could see it. All right. There's all my campaigns. Sorry about that. Here's the landing pages. Why did somebody say something? <laughs> Charmaine and John didn't tell me that I wasn't here. I got to show you the landing pages. I thumbed through it and you were looking at my, the top of my head, probably looking over here at my other screen. Uh, and there, there you go. There is the, uh, the templates and all the other stuff. So sorry about that. Nobody said a word. You know what? Thanks a lot, guys. All right. So there's that. The uh, the next thing I'm using, and I'm going to put it up here, is uh, 22 Social. I love 22 Social. Um, 22 Social um, is are these apps, and these these apps are found uh, um, uh, by your uh, your audience within Facebook. So. Um, if somebody and I'm trying to shoot now, I should have found one that's active, I think. Because some of these are temporary ones that I don't use now. Hold on. Let me see if I can recognize the numbers. I think this is one right here. Let me just check. Yep. So this is a gate. You see this graphic on my TV, uh, Facebook Live. Uh, so if you are, if you're in Facebook Live right now watching this, if you scroll up, thank you, John. He's just laughing. He didn't tell me that I wasn't showing my screen. So um, if you are on my Facebook Live TV show and you scroll to the top to the pinned um, uh, post, you'll see this graphic, and it is for um, uh, access. And I'm going to change the graphic because it's not really. A uh, pleasing, uh, but I'm going to talk about graphics in a minute. Um, and I created this one in Canva. Um, it will send you to a page where you can pay to be in the private group. All right. And so that is what's called a gate. And this is all created in 22 social. Um, so let me get out of this really quick. Um, so let me cancel. <clears throat> and where was that? Shoot. I scrolled up. Oh, here we go. <laughs> and so when they click on it, you're going to see a lot of the background. None of none of uh, what you're going to see at the top uh, is exposed to um, somebody other than. Oh, no, the income of my job. <laughs> right. Um, <clears throat> I don't... Uh, come on, baby. There we go. Oh, no, this is a Lorian Epsom. Sorry, it's not the right one. Darn it. Of course. 
Of course, it's the wrong one. Oh, shoot. I shouldn't have got out of that. Yeah, I, I realize now what's happening. Uh, all right. So that is the correct one. Let me just, I got to click on the gate. All right, here it comes. It's coming. Stand by. Stand by. Stay with me. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Oh, Lord. Everybody must be getting home and using their Wi-Fi at home because earlier my uh, internet was just kicking butt. I got sent a Christmas tree. All right. All right. So let me go to the gate for this thing. Wow. It just really slowed down just like instantaneously. All right. Here is the gate. So now this is the gate. It's just like a real gate that you open up and, and go in. So a video runs and it'll play here in just a second. Hello, this is Andy, and I am the creator of the Facebook Live TV. All right, and so that video plays when somebody clicks on that that graphic, and this is where they can log in for instant access. When they click on this button, that's going to probably take me somewhere else because I'm the admin. And so it'll take you to this place where you can pay on PayPal, and all they simply do is uh, put in their PayPal information and, and pay for access. And that's a, one of the many things that 22 Social does for you. And it, it all works within Facebook. It's an app specifically for Facebook. And it's a fantastic, I think every business needs one. Um, it's retrieving my info. And let's see where it, what it does. There you go. So it allows you to log in with your, uh, with your PayPal. And if I wanted to pay, uh, then you pay. It says you are logged into the account of the seller for this purchase. Please change your login. Oh, okay. So yeah, it recognizes that uh, I'm I'm the administrator. All right. So 22 social, you have to have, it's a great tool. You can run um, sweepstakes. So you got this hurricane and sweepstakes that I ran where you can give away stuff. People uh, uh, opt in, give you their uh, Facebook information and, um, and then you can keep it in the CRM or they call it a SRM, I think here and, um, and do, um, uh, like audiences uh, to um, uh, Facebook ads and that kind of thing. It's a very powerful tool and there, and you can do um, uh, uh, webinars through um, 22 social on Facebook. And it's just a fantastic, fantastic system. So I love it. The next thing is uh, this may be a sleeper that some of you may not know about. And I, and I, maybe I've not done a good enough job of telling you about it, but it is so powerful. It is called relay that. And Relay That is a graphic uh, program. Uh, it's only 20 bucks a month and it's so worth it because you can use it as better. I think, I, I, I love Canva. Uh, Charmaine, I know, likes Canva. She uses Canva. Um, but, and I'm going to hide this so that you can uh, can see it better. Um, but this has so many, I can't even go into it. I'm going to be interviewing the uh, creator of, uh, of this particular uh, program. And I'm not sure when, I, I'm hoping it's going to be uh, next week. Um, and, um, he's going to, he's going to take us all the way, uh, through it. It, it, it I, I promise you, uh, and then uh, you're going to even like the guy, you're going to like the guy, you're going to like Craig Carpenter, who is the creator of uh, relay that And his story is fantastic. He and I spent, uh, about an hour on the phone talking and we have so much in common, but this program does it all for you. So let me just simply show you this. So this is the artwork I, I created for my podcast. So that's the artwork for my podcast called train the dog trainer. And, um, uh, really all I did was drag in these graphics, these four graphics and my logo. So the, the logo, these four graphics are all I dragged in over here on the right hand side. You'll see them listed there. I typed in what I wanted for the title, which is already listed here. Uh, the website address that I wanted to be referred to, it may or may not show it because it's not clicked. Let me see if I want to click on it where it goes. Uh, where does it go when I click on it? it probably, oh yeah, it, it covers that up. So it depends whether you want it or not. In this case, I didn't want it. I don't need it. Uh, and um, you can put some hashtags in there if you want and my name. So uh, my name as the uh, person for this. And so this is for a square post. So when I just put in those graphics, when I put in those things, what it does is it creates about a thousand, maybe more. I'm not sure. I'm gonna ask Craig when I talk to him because I think it's more than that. It creates about a thousand uh, graphics, different graphics with the pictures that you put in there and those words. So here on the left-hand side, I can choose from whatever I want. Let's say I instead wanted this one, which I almost took because I actually like this one. Uh, hold on. There you go. So I just click on it and now I could potentially use this one if I want to. And I did like that one and I thought about using it. And, uh, but, um, for what I wanted to do, 
uh, I liked. Here's another one that's possible. Now the big logo is like there in the middle. Um, I got uh, the one the one I liked here, and I'll tell you the reason I like this one is because it shows me at the beginning of how I got started as a police canine handler. It shows a good picture of a Labrador retriever. It shows a dog in a bank. So it, it obviously is talking about that you're going to be making some money and then gives me uh, where I am now and that I'm a public speaker and that my authority uh, must be something because there I am talking on camera or, or on a microphone and it appears that I'm on some sort of stage. So the beginning to the dogs to making money to me speaking on stage, giving me authority. And that's why I really like this graphic. But I didn't have to stop there. I could have picked uh, another one. I'm not sure why this one's different. I think it may be. There's something different about this one. I'm not sure what it is. There's this one here. And uh, remember that Relay That is generating all of these different graphics and it does it for you. I had my graphic selected and put up and done so quickly, so quickly. It does it for you. And you can do this for anything, for anything. It does it for Twitter. It does it for uh, LinkedIn. It does it for a Facebook post. It does it for um other size graphics. Let me see. Um, I, I want, but I, I actually want to show you all the different things that it's like. some you would never use, right? Because it just doesn't look good. Others you think are, hey, I might even use that one. That one's actually pretty cool. You know, that was a good one. Maybe I should have trained or used that one. Shoot. Uh, there's so many to choose from uh, that you can just go wild. I mean, I can even change it. I can make this my new artwork because I really like it. I really like that. Hmm. Oh, well, uh, I do like the other one. I think uh, it, it, it has more of the graphics. But look how fantastic the, 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 the program does it for you. It just keeps generating <laughs> these graphics. And you can even change the pictures around. So say you like a graphic, but like this one here. But this picture is, um, is being blocked by uh, that uh, graphic there. You can, you can tell it to change the graphic if you want to. You can drag another graphic into that spot or get one from the other side. And it generated it for, for me. Um, so, and I could just keep on going. I can look at these all day and I have, I've, I've looked at it. Oh, I like this black one. This looks pretty good. And they put a hashtag on this one. Oh, you can take that. So say, I don't like that hashtag, right? That hashtag is bothersome. I just click on the uh, checkbox over here on the right-hand side and the hashtag will, uh, will go away. I think I clicked on it twice. It's only because my internet is slow that it's not working. Lottie. Hold on. Things are still spinning over here on the left-hand side. <laughs> it's good. Uh, there we go. It should change in just a minute. There you go. So the hashtag goes away. So, and you can even change the wording. Anyway, great, great platform. I love Relay That. Um, I'm going to be talking a lot more about Relay That. I'm going to be talking to, like I said, uh, uh, Craig Carpenter, who is the creator. Um, his story is so good. I can't wait for you guys to hear his story. Uh, uh, it, it, it just is a... Uh, you know, I don't know. It, it's he's a good guy, and um, he just really wants this to work. He really is a giver. He uh, sees uh, what it is that entrepreneurs need, and what it is that um, will make their lives easier. And so, and that's why he created this product. And it, it's so good in so many ways. Um, if I want to fix this picture here, uh, you can you can oh, just drag it over and see I can fix that so that it, it, it fits perfectly on this particular graphic. If I want more of the dog showing and less of the money, you know, I just move it over. It just, it really, you, you have all kinds of things you can do. And interestingly enough, it, purposefully, there's things that you can't do because he doesn't want you to mess up your graphic. There's things that need to happen. And he is, well, he's a graphic artist. He knows what he's talking about. And he says, you know what? Sometimes you have to you have to not let people do things <laughs> because uh, they can mess things up. And so he, he wants you to do it. There's ways of saving your content. These are all my projects. So I have everything divided up into Falco Canon Academy, Kajabi um, graphics. So if I click on Kajabi graphics, it'll take me to the graphics I'm creating for Kajabi because there's things that I need to create in, in regard to thumbnails and that type of stuff. And so you just change to those different things that you, um, that you want. All right. So, uh, I can click on this all day and show it to you. All right, so that's that one. Uh, and then the last thing that I'm using right now is uh, repurpose.io. You guys uh, heard me uh, interview the owner. If you haven't, make sure and look for the replay. He is another fantastic uh, uh, dude who's created a great product. Uh, uh, love talking to that guy. Here is the information you need to get into uh, Relay That. If you don't have Relay That and you're in the information business, then you are missing out. Uh, you must get it. Click on my link. Don't, don't be shy because you get uh, a year uh, at a discount. So if you don't have it, get it. Uh, I already know uh, five or six people that have uh, used it since I uh, 
uh, referred it to them and they love it. Uh, they uh, have thanked me uh, more than uh, probably three or four times because I go, you can't believe how much more uh, I've been able to do because of repurpose and how much I'm getting done. I no longer have to download my my Facebook lives and edit them and then get them up and then uh, type all information in YouTube and then repeat it. Um, I was able to upload somewhere in the neighborhood of about 300 videos in a couple of days using repurpose and uh, all the hashtags were put in. Um, the uh, title and the description were uh, put in there. My call to actions or my CTAs were all put into the descriptions and it just did it for me. It's, it's fantastic. Do not, do not, not have repurpose.io. You need to have relay that even if you have, um, uh, Canva. So I have Canva and relay, relay that because there's different things I need to do. And for me, I need to have both. Uh, for the time being, relay that maybe adding a couple things that uh, relay uh, that Canva has, and so at some point I will dump uh, probably Canva, just like uh, ClickFunnels. I'm on the verge of dumping. I still love ClickFunnels, and it's hard for me not to use it. Uh, but there comes a time where I'm going to have to make a decision: is do I really is it is it worth spending two hundred ninety five dollars a month for something that I'm um, not using as much as I probably should for that amount of money, right? So. Those are the four things I, I'm using. Uh, Kajabi, 22 Social, Relay That and Repurpose for just about everything that I'm doing. Of course, there's some other tools that I've not mentioned here, like um, uh, Live Leap for broadcasting on multiple uh, Facebook pages and groups. Um, what else am I using that I'm paying for? There's a couple other things, and I can't think of um, fresh something or other that I'm using on my face on my uh, websites. Um, uh, John probably knows what it's called. I can't think of what the name of it is right now. Um, uh, fresh leads. Is that what it's called? Maybe I have two of them. Maybe I have two products uh, mixed into one. So there are a couple, but those four, I think you cannot do without. You can't, you should not do without Kajabi, 22 Social, relay that and repurpose if you're in the digital business and you're going to be part of this uh, knowledge commerce uh, uh, industry. Whew, I am sweating. Uh, because I have been moving and, and, and twitching and all that kind of stuff. And uh, let me get back. And hi, how are you? <laughs> I am sweating. Wow. That was, uh, that was something else. I, um, I went through so many things. Any more questions or any more disappointments? Um, there, uh, Charmaine, I also like and use. Oh, she's disappointed. She already had that one. Um, how many Facebook Live app platforms do you have? Oh, see, those are. Uh, well, I have Blue Jeans, but I don't pay for it. Um, I shouldn't say that uh, in, in public, but uh, I do have blue jeans. I don't use it as much uh, as I do now. Uh, Be Live is another one, but um, I, I'm, I, I couldn't decide on whether to talk about Webinar Jam or Be Live. I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about those separately, but I know for sure the four that I talked about in relationship to um, uh, uh, what I'm talking about today, I think are, 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 are must haves. And, uh, and again, they're must haves for me. And I really do believe that anybody else who uses them will have a good time. Everything has a learning curve. Everything crashes. Everything has a, has a blip or a glitch or some aspect of it that you don't like everything. There's things about ClickFunnels that I despise and, and I go, gosh, darn it. I wish I could do this easier. Uh, and, uh, and I think pipelines for me is much easier to use. There's things in uh, Kajabi that I'm sure that I don't like. I can't think of any of them right now. I, what I don't like is that I can't upload to Kajabi directly from my computer uh, and it doesn't take four or five hours. It is bizarre, uh, but I can do it from Dropbox, right? Uh, and that's fine because I, it takes me maybe 15 minutes to upload to Dropbox and then just like two minutes to upload to Kajabi. Why it makes a difference, I cannot explain why, but if I try to do it straight, straight from my computer to Kajabi, it takes hours. And then I've had many times where it, it crashed and, and failed. I don't know if they fixed it or not because it's been so long since I've uploaded from my computer, but I know that that I used to drive me crazy. That's one thing I did hate about Kajabi and I told them so. <laughs> um, but I am so happy with what they're adding and they're doing more of. And sure, there you can't add a graphic uh, a picture to, um, the email uh, template, but that's uh, small beans compared to everything else uh, for me. Charmaine, I'm not saying that what you, your your um, your dislike for that thing is not valid. It is, uh, but for me, it's not that big of a deal. All right, um, a Nobby, Nobby, Nobby wouldn't pay for it. Wouldn't pay for what either? Which one? Which thing? That I, I talked about so many things. I don't know which one. You wouldn't pay for what? ClickFunnels? Is that uh, what you're talking about? I, I'm guessing that's what he's talking about. I'm guessing you would use Kajabi because that sounds Australian. <laughs> it, for me, it sounds, I thought they were from Australia when I first heard of Kajabi. Um, so Nabi, is that what you're talking about? That you wouldn't pay for uh, ClickFunnels, I'm thinking? Uh, or am I, I could be way off base. 
my, my bad if I just bad mouth click funnels and you know I love what Russell Brunson does I love watching his videos I love watching his campaigns um uh, there, I, it, it's so funny. Uh, I have a couple campaigns that are running on, on selling, um, click funnels, uh, or not selling. Well, yeah, I guess I am selling, but I'm getting people into their funnel. And I got so many comments about, uh, that he's a shyster that, uh, he promises things that he doesn't follow through with. And uh, so many of those. Um, but, um, I, I do, uh, I think the stuff that I've learned from him and things that I put into action have worked and, uh, I really do like it. And again, I have people that say, you know, things about me in regard to dog training that I don't know what I'm talking about. Uh, and, and yet they follow me <laughs> and, wa and watch everything that I do, uh, which is so, so interesting. Um, uh, Charmaine, I upload video from computer Kajabi and it's quick. Oh, really? Oh, maybe they've changed it. It's probably been. So I, I probably said something bad about Kajabi that's no longer true, but it's probably been about not quite, maybe a year, maybe about now, maybe about seven months since I've uploaded a video directly into Kajabi. It's been about seven months at least. I now only do it through uh, Dropbox. <clears throat> and that's one of the things about uh, uh, repurpose that I love is that it repurposes all my Facebook lives and put it, it puts them in my, uh, into my Dropbox so that I can just now just take them over. I don't have to do anything now. Uh, and so it, it's, it's great uh, for me. <clears throat> and so, so they, they may have fixed it. Uh, are they still you and using Wistia? I don't know if they still use Wistia as their uh, video hosting platform or not. Um, that could have been the change. Cause I know that it was Wistia the last time I uploaded a video that, that it was, it was something that had to do with that. Um, blue jeans. what I say? Blue jeans, uh, be live. Uh, oh, yeah, E, what's it called? E something. Somebody help me out. What's the other uh, Facebook Live? E, 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 it's not on my desktop anymore. Somebody help me. Ecamm. So yeah, Ecamm is another, uh, uh, I do, uh, I've used Ecamm. I use that probably once every two months for whatever reason, because there's something that um, about it that I like in regard to the videos. But now that I have Kajabi and I can play uh, a, a YouTube video directly in, um, did I say Kajabi? I meant to say Webinar Jam. In Webinar Jam, I can, um, thank you, Nabi. Yeah, um, if um, if uh, I wasn't using Webinar Jam, I'd be using Ecamm uh, for that aspect, that it, it plays a video uh, that people can see in a, in a really good way. But uh, now that I have Webinar Jam, uh, the newest version of Webinar Jam, I've had Webinar Jam for so long, but uh, now that they've updated it and uh, and made it so much better, I think it's a great platform. It has that whiteboard. It allows you to um, ask poll questions when people register. Um, and uh, there, there's so many good tools in, in Webinar Jam. Uh, the likelihood of me using Ecamm is not, I'm gonna have to visit again and see if they've added anything or did anything different, but um, I do like Ecamm uh, and I think it's good. Um, and uh, and a, a good, it's easy to use. It, it, it starts quickly and I think it looks good. BeLive has been really, and that's what I'm on right now. So BeLive has been fantastic for me. Um, the uh, pictures have been a lot, the, uh, the picture, uh, the quality of the picture has been so much better lately. I'm actually using Wi-Fi right now. When I'm at my teaching desk, I'm usually using Wi-Fi. Every so often, I'll drag my cable over here and connect hardwire. But uh, it's been so good lately that I haven't had to do that. The setting, the 540 setting has been working really well. The audio has been really good. And uh, the picture has been good when I've had, uh, 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 you know, guests on and that kind of stuff and some of the other um, Facebook pages that I've been doing stuff. And so I'm really happy with BeLive right now. And they're even adding stuff. Um, really cool stuff. I really like, so, uh, good to them. I, I love companies that are constantly improving their product and staying engaged and staying again. Remember the consumer is in charge right now and, 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 and in control of what it is we're talking about. And these companies that are listening to their customers. Um, uh, when I talked to, um, the creator of uh, repurpose Hanny, uh, or Hani. When I talked to Hani, he wants to know like, what is it you like? What is it you don't like? How can I make it better? Uh, when I talked to Craig, uh, Craig Carpenter uh, about relay that, he goes, what is it you like? What do you don't like? What, how can I change it? How can I make it better? How can I reach more people? He, he is really interested in, in all of those questions uh, being answered and really listens. When I had Travis from Kajabi on, and interviewed him uh, when we were off camera. He was asking me about what it is. How did how'd you do this thing? How'd you do the interview? <laughs> like he didn't know how I did the interview, which was really strange. I'm going, uh, really? You're the uh, founder of Kajabi. Uh, but um, uh, he was really interested in what I what I had to say about that and about what I liked about Kajabi and 
and was really happy with uh, uh, you know the opportunity to speak to me as, as one of his customers. And I think that is so important uh, uh, for these people uh, that are running these businesses that they stay connected and listen to what people are saying. I remember when Be Live, Be Live with uh, uh, Daniel Mayer uh, would uh, pop into any one of my broadcasts to see what was happening. <clears throat> and he would comment and like, <clears throat> and then send me a message. Uh, and then I would message him. Uh, but now he's, he's way too busy. He's got too many people on the platform. I'm not even sure if he may even remember who I am. Uh, he may, uh, but, um, but he used to come on all the time. He'd see his name pop up uh, uh, into the list of people commenting. And I thought that was pretty cool. So uh, to those companies, the ones that I mentioned, and I probably should have put be live on here. I know, <clears throat> but I couldn't decide <clears throat> at the last moment. <clears throat> uh Oh, here comes a coughing fit. It's time for me to get off. I will not be able to stop once I start. Um, so uh, all of you that have been watching Nobby and, and, uh, and John and uh, Charmaine and the other people that I can see that are on but not commenting, um, I do appreciate uh, seeing you on here. And, uh, and, and, and I really am uh, excited about the future of this uh, um, uh, uh, digital commerce and, and knowledge uh, that the uh, knowledge commerce that uh, business that is, is, is looks like it's growing uh, and and doesn't look like it's going to uh, drop off anytime soon. So at least for the next couple of years with uh, everything that I, I brought up at the beginning of this broadcast, uh, it is a good time for us to be in this business. It's a good time for us to really settle in on the on the on the tools and the platforms and stop messing with them and now concentrate on getting customers and making money. I think sometimes we spend too much time on the tech learning it. And, uh, and I know I have, I got all caught up in for a little while in uh, learning all the things in click funnels and all that kind of stuff. And at, 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 at a point I just realized, you know what, it's time to focus on getting customers and making money and using what it is that I have that works and works for me and is strong. And, uh, it looks like we'll continue to grow. Those are the things that I'm con connected to and staying with and connecting with those people. I'm, I'm developing relationships with the owners of those platforms. And that's where I think, um, uh, I'm going so that I can be better suited for specific customers who need specific things. All right. So I hope this has been good for you and, uh, I will, uh, Oh, Elaine, how are you? Um, I'm happy you were listening. Yeah, I love seeing you on too, Elaine, very much. And uh, I appreciate I appreciate you listening as much as I appreciate uh, having you just uh, just even commenting. Um, screen sharing working on Be Live yet? Yeah, yes, it works. I yeah, I, I was using it. Uh, there's that, and there is the solo, uh, and there is I was using um, relay that. Let me see. I'm just going to show you that uh, you're seeing one of my customers' names there. <laughs> All right. Uh, where was I? I was using. <laughs> oh, man. Did I... oh, oh, here's a list on the left hand side. So uh, Pinterest board, uh, LinkedIn, uh, wide banner, uh, LinkedIn profile cover, wide post, square post, uh, Pinterest, uh, uh, tall post. YouTube header, uh, business cards, uh, Twitter header, LinkedIn post, uh, video 16 by nine, uh, which is the uh, thumbnails and the Facebook covers. These are this uh, some of the templates that are uh, available to uh, you and that create the uh, uh, things that uh, you need, the graphics, the things, the graphics that you need for all of those different things. And, and, and it's growing. He's doing more and more all the time. And so, uh, that's relay that. So Nami, you asked me to share the screen and all I got caught up in, in doing that. All right. Oh, I guess I should get rid of your comment. That way you can see it better. Yeah. So screen share works really well. You can go solo. I can split the screen with a, uh, a split screen. I can change my positioning, make myself smaller or make it smaller, make myself bigger and then go the opposite way, make it bigger, make myself smaller. And so I can talk about it this way. I like to sometimes just go solo that way. Uh, I'm not even in the picture, but I can bring myself back and split screen what else was there oh there's this one too all right so the, all that works it's all good it's all good in the hood all right nobby thank you charmaine how about powerpoint <laughs> yes okay i'll show you powerpoint too that works fantastically here i gotta share i think i'll have to share a new screen mm -hmm. yeah let me share a new screen let me get rid of this one yeah powerpoint works fantastic uh, as an applications window. Oh, you know what I should do? I should share my screen showing this. All right, hold on. So I'm going to share my screen. 
of the screen sharing. All right. <laughs> All right. Let me make it solo. All right. So uh, here is the... Um, <laughs> I keep saying, I do this all the time. I, I threaten to sign off and I never do. All right. So here is the um, uh, dashboard for BeLive, right? And if you want to screen share, you hit this, this screen share button here and it'll pop up this window. Now you can, uh, I have two different screens, right? On my computer, I have two different screens. Yours won't look like this if you don't have two screens connected to your computer. You'll just have the one screen, screen one. So since I have two screens, uh, it shows both my screens. So on my other screen, that's why you see me looking to the right because I'm looking at my other screen. So I don't want you, I don't want you to confuse you when you go there and you don't see this. But if you want, if you have different applications open, you click on the center button up here and you'll see it turn blue and it's called the applications window. These are all the applications that are open on my computer. Uh, and so I have um, uh, the share your screen option. I got be live open, obviously. I got command this, which is the uh, keynote uh, PowerPoint uh, that I'm using, uh, that I have open. This is a website on uh, Chrome. This is my notes application that's open. And this is um, ScreenFlow. Yeah, this is ScreenFlow that I have open, a video that I did earlier uh, in the dog, for the dog training industry. All right, so if I wanna use Keynote, I go to command this, which is the name of the, um, uh, the program or the, uh, the Keynote that I'm using. And I hit share and that will open up um, down, sorry, down here uh, on the dashboard. So you see it here. When I hover over it, it goes dark. So I'll hover over it, it goes dark. So I'm going to drop down. Now you're not going to be able to see this. <laughs> oh, let me put up the broadcast. That'll be cool. So I'm going to take this off a of solo. I'm going to no do this. Yeah, I think. So I'm going to bring this one, this screen share, up to broadcast. And now I have three screens, right? So now I have this option where I can share three different, I'm sharing my keynote. So uh, um, uh, so I can do that if I wanted to. So I'm gonna get rid of the desktop. I'm gonna bring it down. And if I wanna show this keynote, I can make it solo. And now I can use the keynote this way, right? I can have it open and then click through the different slides on the left-hand side and you can see it and it shows enough. And it's really, uh, it's one of the ways I've seen people use Keynote and even um, PowerPoint that they just simply click through these things and you can see the main screen there and all that kind of stuff. Or you can actually play it. And when I play it, I have to move it over here to my other screen because I think that's where it wants to play for some reason. I'm not sure. Actually, let me, let me take it off a of solo so I can see what happens when I do make it big. <clears throat> Oops, <laughs> I can't see. <laughs> so I don't know what's happening right now uh, because it did take my entire screen. So I'm gonna go to my Facebook. So just stay there. Uh, I'm gonna just pretend that I'm no longer on and I'm just experimenting. I'm trying to see it, exactly what happens because the last time I did it, I because I have two screens, it sometimes causes um, a little bit of a, an issue. So hold on, I'm getting to my Facebook page on my phone so I can see what's happening. I'm looking at my phone and I'm gonna see what it is that you see here. I'm watching. Yep, it went black. Oh, you can see me. I can't see you. So uh, that is really bizarre. So I'm gonna get rid of that screen. So I'm not sure why, it did work in the past. Uh, I, I gotta figure out, uh, it, it's causing a glitch because of my multiple screen setup that I have here. And so I'm not sure why that is. If I, now let me move back to this other screen. So I'm just experimenting, stand by. This is important for us to learn. If I uh, go to play, let me see what happens now. And see if it goes to full screen. There is something. And again, I think it's mostly because I am, um, because on this computer, I have two different monitors. And yeah, I went black again. All right, sorry for the delay, but there's a, a long delay by the time it shows up. So uh, right now, uh, if I and, and this is how I did it on my computer when I was on the dog train thing. What I did is I just simply made it solo, went to my keynote, and I ran the uh, keynote um, just like this. I didn't, uh, I didn't push play. All right, and so that's one thing you do. Let me figure out. 
let me try one other thing here while I have you on. <laughs> <laughs> Playful experiments. Thank you, Elaine. I'm glad that you are uh, uh, okay with this. So let me bring it down, and I'm gonna get rid of it. I gotta. I'm gonna stop sharing. Stop sharing. Stop sharing. Okay. Uh oh. Okay. So share screen. Now I'm gonna open it up just merely as. Let me go to. Let me just screen one. All right. Let me see what happens here. So I'm going to go to screen one as opposed to application. So I'm sharing screen one. This is my, my desktop now as opposed to an application. I hope that I'm not losing you and it doesn't make sense. But there's two ways of sharing your screen. You can share the, the screen so it shows your desktop or you can share just the window of a tab on your Chrome or the window of an application without showing your desktop. All right, so you can share your desktop or you can share the screen of an application without them seeing your desktop. All right, um, and that's one of the options. All right, so I'm going to go to, so now you can see um, the, the uh, keynote here. And I'm gonna push play and see what happens. All right, I know you can still see me, but let me see if you can see the keynote or does it turn black again? All right. Remember, there's a delay. I'm watching on my phone because you guys already see it, but I don't. All right. I'm seeing myself fiddle with the uh, thing. Oh, there it is. So that's the difference. So you don't want to use application when running a keynote. If I were to come back and um, go solo on the screen and then go to keynote and then play now you'll get the whole screen so now if i wanted to do this keynote presentation and for you guys just to simply see my keynote and obviously i didn't use widescreen on my keynote so that's why it uh, has the black sides like that it's it, it's it's because of how i set up my keynote it's not has nothing to do with be live um if i wanted it to show the sides then i would need to make sure in keynote to have the uh, settings differently so that it would do the 1080 by whatever it's supposed to be. All right, so there's Keynote. I, I'm gonna hit the space bar and go through it and you can hear me talking. What's cool is the uh, branding on BeLive is showing on the black space there. So there's the one advantage of it, of it being black. All right, uh, and so I'm gonna, I can, you can click through your uh, presentation, but you're gonna wanna do it by sharing your desktop, not by sharing the application, all right? Uh, and when you go to be or be live, you'll see what I'm talking about. Um, since um, I wish I could make this bigger. See, I can make the square bigger, but it doesn't show anything else bigger. <laughs> oh, well. All right. So up here is what I'm talking about. You see here at the top where you see that that blue bar right there. You can't you can't see my mouse. Oh, yeah, you can. So that's a blue. So that one is you share your entire screen. Right. That's basically sharing your desktop. That's the one you're going to want to use when you're sharing a keynote, All right? If you use application window and you're trying to pick one of these applications you want to use, these are all the applications that I have open on my desk, All right? And I can pick one and want to show it, then um, you can do that, but not the keynote if you want to play the keynote. So if I go to my keynote, blah, 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 which one is it? <laughs> I'll command this. So don't use application window if you're going to play the keynote. You can use the application window if you're going to just go through your keynote without pushing play. And then you have the next tab over here is your uh, Chrome tabs. I could share one of these Chrome tabs if I wanted to. Let's say I wanted to show you that Kajabi article, that uh, blog, then I would share that. <clears throat> And and bring it up. Oh, Kajabi. And there's Kajabi. All right. So that's one of my tabs on my um, on my Chrome. So there's three different ways you can do it. All right. So hope I didn't bore the, those of you that stuck around. Well, uh, nobody dropped off. <laughs> well, uh, I think one. I think I had seven, and now I have six. But you know what's funny? And and this is something for you guys to remember that have stuck on this long, uh, have stuck around this long, is that I said this at the beginning. I just did uh, a, a Facebook Live on my um, uh, Falco Cannon Academy Facebook page, and I had less people uh, that was showing up in the green. I think it was 
four total. Uh, when I went to uh, look at my broadcast on Facebook, it showed 103 people watching. So I'm not sure uh, if it's B, if it's a B live issue, if it has something to do with how many people are watching on a phone that that only counts people watching on a phone and not on a computer. Cause that used to be an issue years, years ago, years ago, like <laughs> Facebook live has been around for years. <laughs> it maybe has been around for two years at the most. Uh, but uh, no, uh, a, a while ago, uh, it was only counting people watching on their phone from what I remember and not people watching on their desktop. And so the stats were um, odd. So um, I think it's interesting. So if I have seven people showing here, I could have a million people watching, I guess. If 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 on the, on the Falco Canon Academy said I had four people watching and in actuality I had something, it was a hundred and something, 120, 103, somewhere, I forget what it was, but it was over a hundred. Um, uh, and that's a huge difference from four, right? So I don't know. I, I, I don't know what to believe. I don't know what uh, what to do. But just know, don't pay attention to the numbers. Do your broadcast. Um, uh, and even at the end, uh, do like me and just go through a whole bunch of caca and uh, and, uh, and and figure out um, uh, how to use something on, on the fly. Uh, Michael Moreno. Hey, glad to see you, Michael. Uh, Michael does some great stuff. You got to really find uh, what it is he's doing. Uh, he teaches actors um, and, and and helps actors. Uh, uh, and, um, uh, get noticed. I think that's one of the, and he does sizzle reels for them and, and shows them how to do, um, uh, video, uh, Facebook, uh, covers. And so you, uh, Michael is, uh, somebody that you uh, may want to know if you, um, are in the acting business is really good. Uh, be live is desktop only. So maybe it's counting desktop only. Oh, well, maybe it's possible. It's odd. I, 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 I don't, I don't know that, uh, 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 the, that there was only four people watching on desktop in, you know, whatever, a hundred people were watching on their phone. I, I guess it's possible, but yeah, I don't know. It doesn't make any sense, but I really appreciate that. Cause that's, that's something that I can't figure out. So, uh, there you go. And I know that the replays get watched far more than the live broadcast. Uh, if, if I have a hundred and some people watching live, that means usually I'll have about 500 people, uh, within the next day, within the next 24 hours, watch the replay. And it's been pretty typical, uh, something around that. Uh, and so, um, so just know, just know it shows seven on my phone. All right. Yeah. I, it's, I, I don't know how it works. So in this case, it's actually true on uh, the, the Falco Cannon Academy. It was completely different. Uh, and so let me actually see what it is, uh, uh what it is now. Uh, let me refresh the page. I want to see what the numbers are and see how different it, how different it is. Uh, I'm getting uh, Facebook live messages here that I can't seem to get rid of them. All right. It's refreshing. So let me see what the numbers are on the Falco Canine Academy. Okay. And I just ended it before I started this one. So I ended that one and started this Facebook live. So between then, so when I was on the Facebook live, 103 people were watching. And then when I ended it, I, there was a, there was a, maybe 110 and almost, I'm almost there. It's almost done refreshing. Wow. This is a long process. <laughs> Hold on. La -dee -dee. Where did it go? Yikes. It disappeared. Oh, there it is. 137. So 137 have watched it. Um, so 103, when I was still on it, it showed uh, 103 views yet. It only showed about four people on my B live. Now, if I, if you don't mind sticking around as I take the time to look on my computer, because, um, John North said his said seven, which is probably, probably true, but let's see if there's a difference on, on mine here. Wow, the silence is killing me. Uh, I try not to be silent. I'm trying to think of any jokes I can tell you. Oh, look at John North. Finally, my book from June event is in print, printed version. Who is coming to December PNP event? I am. Uh, I will be there again. All right, you're going to be bringing your books. The book looks looks great. I love the picture you have on there. Um, congratulations, John. Way to go. Uh, John put his links in the comment section. So scroll down or scroll up, depending on depending on when you're watching this, it could be down and, and it could be up. Um, but look for his links and definitely get his book. Um, 
Hold on, I'm looking for there we go. Uh, Facebook Live. You uh, well, if you're an entrepreneur, just simply if you're an entrepreneur, get John's book. It, it uh, he's a genius, and you definitely want to see what he has to say. Uh, mine says 88 views. <laughs> How strange is that? So John says seven. Mine says 88 are uh, are watching or have watched. Is that how many people have watched and dropped off? I don't know. Uh, so, so funny. Oh, John, you're bringing your son. That's fantastic. I don't understand. I don't understand um, what's going on. I'm, I'm, I'm baffled. Why does mine say 88? Uh, Nobby says six. Uh, John says seven. Um, John's bringing the son to, uh, the PNP, the PNP event for those that you don't know is the, uh, publish and profit. John and I are, uh, uh, are, are I would say, I was going to say leaders. I guess we are leaders, right? Uh, we, um, uh, are, uh, consultants, uh, certified consultants, and we, um, we, uh, help everybody become number one bestselling authors. So between, uh, us, uh, uh just in the PNP events, we'd, uh, we, we've probably created about a thousand uh, best-selling authors, somewhere in that neighborhood, 800 to a thousand. I've been to every one. I'm not sure if, I don't think John's been to every one, uh, but I've been to every one of them. And if you add them all up, uh, it is a lot. Uh, a thousand may be a lot. It may be about 800. Uh, Elaine, you should go. Yes, you definitely should go. Um, mine says 48 views and six watching. I, I don't know. I don't know what to do. I, it, none of it uh, really makes sense. And I don't care. Uh, I do kind of care or else I probably would have looked right. So I guess there is a little bit of me that cares. But um, all I know is that uh, it looks like people are watching. And as long as people are watching, I'm going to be doing this. I've got some great compliments. I talked to a couple people today who I've never heard of that said they've been watching and had really nice things to say uh, about uh, the shows. So those are the things that keep me from doing them. The fact that John North is watching, I uh, maybe he's bored to tears. Maybe he has nothing else to do. I don't know, but uh, I think he again. I think he's a genius, and the fact that he's even paying attention to what I'm doing uh, just uh, makes me feel good. Nobby, of course, I love Nobby. Nobby and I've known each other for uh, about five, six years now, uh, and um, I just love that Nobby takes the time uh, to watch. Also, Elaine, of course, uh, Charmaine is a genius at what she does, and what she does with children uh, with special needs and families with special needs is something else. If, if you, uh, if you are, uh, someone who has a child uh, with special needs or know somebody that, that, that does, um, connect with Charmaine, uh, e Elaine, can you tell me what you do? I, I'm not, I should know I've watched enough stuff and I see you all over the place. Um, go ahead and tell me what it is you do Elaine and, uh, and share with us. Maybe you have a, a, a uh, URL that you can put down where people can connect you and what it is you're doing. But Elaine, you definitely should come to PNP, uh, and become a number one bestselling author in three days. A number one bestselling author in three days. Um, Nabi says, EGO is not a dirty word. EGO. EGO. Darn. I probably should know what EGO is. I don't know what that is. Arg. I'm waiting for Elaine to tell us what she does. I saw you, uh, the first one you attended and presented. Oh, <laughs> awesome. Good, Elaine. What do you do, Elaine? Tell me what you do. Remind me. When you tell me and I remember, I'm going to shoot myself. Uh, restructuring now. Restructuring from to. Do you want to share what you're restructuring from and what you're restructuring to or you want to keep it a secret until you have it all set up? Elaine is restructuring. She's one of the, how many did I say? 900 million uh, women uh, entrepreneurs. Um and maybe that's why she's watching. She's trying to learn some stuff from us. <clears throat> it's about time that I interview uh, John North again and get him on here and talk about it. We, we started to get into the Facebook advertising thing and the, getting into that. We got to do that. Got to finish that. We got so sidetracked with all the stuff that we were doing. It was crazy. All of it. <laughs> all right. Uh, good, good, good. All right, Elaine. Uh, yes. Come back to us at the PNP. You just need to come there and just uh, hang with us. That would be fun. Have some, uh, have some dinner, lunch, whatever. Um, and I'm, I don't want to miss anybody. Who else did I, I don't want to miss anybody. I talked about Michael. Michael's an, again, uh, if you know anybody that's in the acting business or wants to get an acting, get a hold of Michael. Um, he's uh, got some great stuff going on. I visited his websites. I even pitched you on a, on a website, uh, on your website. I don't know if you saw that, that I did a Facebook live and, uh, and showed everybody uh, what it was you were doing. I'm not sure if you saw that Michael or not. Uh, but, uh, it was fun. It was fun going through your stuff and sharing, uh, as I was, uh, um, 
uh, doing that. Oh, Michael commented earlier, and I missed this one. Facebook will have screen sharing soon. Yes, uh, they will. Uh, and that's why these platforms are so busy, I believe, in creating other stuff. So Be Live uh, has this comment thing that you can put up uh, people's comments. And, and that is one thing, at least, uh, Facebook doesn't have uh, at the moment that I, I haven't looked. I know there's updates happening all the time, so maybe I've missed something. There's some other things that have been updated that um, I, I, I don't have, but other people do. But at least that you can't put up the comments, at least for right now. Uh, they have frames, which I can't bring up frames right now but in some cases um you can bring up some you can put framing around i've been able to put lower thirds uh and and be live um um but the, the the ability to use the different uh configurations when you're uh interviewing somebody or bringing somebody on the interview that right now isn't so be live is going to have to constantly stay one step ahead of facebook as they begin to add all these features into their Facebook Live platform. Uh, and at some point, they just will come together, I think, and you'll you'll just say, hey, well, Facebook's free. <laughs> Why do I need to pay anything? And that is a fact, right? As soon as I don't have to pay and get the same features that BeLive offers, I will be uh, on BeLive. I mean, on Facebook, and uh, and, and BeLive will uh, unfortunately become irrelevant, uh, just like Blab became irrelevant uh, and other things that are, 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 are happening. So... Uh, there you go. <clears throat> I was going to sign off probably about 45 minutes ago. So uh, it's great chat with you guys. and I do love it. Um, I need to give my voice a rest. I've done, uh, I've recorded a couple of videos and I think I've been on three Facebook lives and I spent the, about two hours on the phone with different people. So <laughs> it's time to shut the mouth, stop talking. I'm surprised my coughing fit stopped. I really appreciate it. Uh, PMP, marketing, uh, roadmap, et cetera. Yes, for sure. Uh, oh, Roy. Roy, Facebook will buy Be Live. Oh, that would be awesome. Roy is another one. You, if you're not following Roy and the Net Friends, Net Friends. Uh oh, did I say that right? Net Friending. What's the name of your show? <laughs> Put the URL in there, Roy. Uh, if I don't say it right, Roy will destroy me on a future show uh, of Net Friends, uh, Friending, whatever that is. Uh, no, no, don't go. You want me to keep going? Really? <laughs> I plan to do more 22 social good. Yeah, I'm going to be doing some uh, some instruction on 22 social and create a launch of profit um, because that's where it belongs, probably more so than Facebook Live um, training. So I'll be doing some more of uh, 20. I love 20. I love the guys. Andrew Lane, uh, Rene uh, Bonuelos are two fantastic guys. Great teachers. Great, great guys. I really uh, love those guys. And I, I love them as much for who they are as I do for their business. Um, uh, consulting. You prefer to consult? Good. Andrew Lane, Andrew is great. Yes, it is great. I, 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 the, the graphics that he's, uh, the graphic designing and hackers that I'm in, <laughs> uh, it's incredible. It is, it, that may be one of the best groups I'm uh, a member of is uh, uh, graphic, um, uh, graphic hackers. Uh, great, great uh, place to be. Uh, met them in 2010 too. Awesome. Yeah, I've been to their office. Great guys. Uh, went to a party that they had. Um, it was, uh, they're right there across from the stadium. And, uh, I think, uh, uh, the all-star game was happening at the same time we were there. Uh, I really do like those guys. Um, yeah, you're Elaine, you're a part of that. You're in that group too. And, uh, I just love those things. Uh, love those, um, uh, training sessions that he puts on Roy, help me with net friendings. Gosh, darn it. That's what I was waiting for before I sent off net friending. Yeah. Net friending. Shoot. I think I got it wrong the first time. I'm going to, I'm going to put the link in for you because you are taking too long. Hold on. It is a fun show that they do over there at net friending. Uh, I'm going to put the link in since uh, Roy just kind of, it looks like he just came on. He came and um, sabotaged my show. So go to net friending. Um, their shows go on way longer than mine. They can go on a few hours. Uh, so you definitely, uh, in, in they, they talk about, just broadcasting, being who you are, how to use Be Live, uh, and a whole bunch of other stuff. And I and I, I do enjoy uh, my time uh, spending with Roy and April, who are um, the hosts of the show. All right, that's it. I'm finally gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna kick off. Uh, what is that? Slot of fun. Slot of fun. <laughs> Elena, are you using voice to text? <laughs> slot of fun. Are you saying a lot of fun? Probably you're saying a lot of fun. Uh, <laughs> or your your thumbs are tired, or you're driving and texting. Do not drive and text. When I drive and text, that's what how my uh, texts look. All right, that is it. I am signing off to everybody who is watching. I don't want to miss anybody. To all of you that are watching, uh, to the either 33 or the two or the four that are watching, 
Uh, I really appreciate your time. I hope that your time with me has been uh, worthwhile, that you've gotten something out of it. Uh, I really, oh, you're using a stylus. All right, and I hope you've gotten something out. Elaine, good luck with uh, re, uh, reinventing yourself, rebranding, and doing all the things you're doing. I hope that I can be helpful in some way uh, 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 for you uh, along the way with some of the stuff that we're doing here. All right. Talk to you later, Nabi, and everybody else. Again, I don't want to go through all the names because I'm going to miss somebody, but thank you. I love you all. Take care.